Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. So the last couple of weeks were pretty intense with our 3D topography from scratch. And we hadn't done a quick tip tutorial in a while, so I wanted to throw one of these in, give us all a little breather this week. So this is a follow-up to the tutorial on how to repeat any shape along a circular path. And I had a few questions on how to repeat any shape along any shape path meaning it doesn't have to be circular at all. And I thought that was a great idea as a follow-up tutorial. So I wanna show you this because I think it's an awesome idea if you wanna just use some decorative elements on an application, if you wanna use just creative dividers for your applications or create your own borders even that are non-circular, this is how I would do it. So I just pulled a quick color palette up here. Um, very simple, just to, I'll just walk through. If you look over here, you can see the color builds for each one of these colors. And I'm just gonna create some different shapes and some different paths, and then I'm gonna throw them together, and then you're gonna get the idea really quick, and then you're gonna make awesome stuff with it. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my shape tool over here, and we'll just start out with a star tool. Let me eyedropper this purple, grab my star. I'm gonna hold shift, and this will drag out a star. Um, in case you didn't know, if you hit your arrow up key or your arrow down key, you can increase the number of points your star has. So that's kind of cool. And if you hold Alt, you can change the width of your star. And if you hold Command or Control on a PC, you can make it really spiky if you bring it in. So that's kind of fun. Let's add a few more points. Okay, so I've got a fancy star here. And I'm just gonna hold Alt, click and drag, and make another star. So now we're just gonna do a blend between these two star so i'm going to come over to my blend tool i'm going to double click and this time i'm going to specify steps and i'm going to say there's 12 stars between these two stars so i'm just going to blend from one star to the other it's just going to make me a quick copy of stars really fast so that's a really easy way to make multiples i'm not blending from one thing to the other i'm i'm I am, but they're the same thing, so it's just making copies. So now I'm gonna grab my pen tool and I'm just gonna draw a really funky um, path. So this can be any path. We can even add in some angles and do it. And then um, let's just make it a stroke path. So you can see this is a randomly shaped path. So I'm gonna rubber band select both of these. And then I'm gonna come over here to object, blend, replace spine. And now that applied my stars to that path. And if I had more stars, they would be more condensed. So let's make a bunch more this time. Let's use the polygon this time. And the polygon um, behaves very much like the star tool in that you can increase the number of points by hitting your arrow up or arrow down. You cannot distort how the shape looks um, by holding Command or Alt. That's just for the star. But that's a little too many points. Let's make it feel like a polygon. All right, and let's make this one blue this time. And we'll make a whole bunch of them here. So let's do that. And this time when we blend, let's do like 30 steps. And it's okay if they run into each other because our path will be really funky so they can spread out. So this time let's do more of a spiky, some curves and spikes. So it can be any shape. Have this selected, also select your shapes, object, blend, replace spine, and there you go. If I had a longer, um, let me undo that. Let's make this path a little longer so these can draw out a little further. I want you to be able to see how you can have them all separated pretty nicely. Okay, so I'm gonna select this, I'm gonna select my shapes up here, object, blend, replace spine. There you go, now they're more spread out. So just keep that in mind with how long your shape is, your path, wherever it needs to go. Just keep that in mind when you're creating your shapes. And then I just wanted to show one more example. Let me move these guys out of the way. Of blending different shapes together. Oh, and as you can see, if I select this, we still have a path here. And if you wanna get rid of that path, all you have to do is go Object, Expand, hit OK. And now, like, say I didn't want these two to be so close together, if I ungroup it, Command, Shift, G, or Control, Shift, G on a PC, now I can move these around a little bit. So you still have a lot of control 
over where your items are positioned, but this will automatically put them in line for you. So that's pretty nice. And then just remember to group them together when you're happy so you don't have a zillion little stars floating around. Con Control G on a PC or Command G on a Mac. Okay, so let's do one other really fun thing. We'll go a star tool. Let's reduce the number of points on this. All right, we'll go star. I'm gonna make this green this time. And maybe we want it to blend into, maybe we want it to blend into a circle. And maybe we want that circle to be blue. So let's make an awesome blend between these two and let's do 20 steps. I'm gonna click on the star, I'm gonna click on the circle. And now we got this really kind of fun blend happening. And then we can grab our pen tool once again, and maybe we do have um, a more curvy path. Select both of these, object, blend, replace spine. So you can end up with some really cool things using this method. So that's just a quick tip this week on how to repeat any shape along any path in Illustrator. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe. I release a new design tutorial every single Tuesday and be sure to head on over to my blog every hyphen Tuesday.com for even more design tutorials and a bunch of design freebies. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next week.